This is a recent job to design a hotel bar in a beautiful old building in Spain. And in this video, I want to show you how I use the drawing guide with perspective assist to help me create these concept sketches. Of course, it's always best to just mark the vanishing point when you make the sketch up 2D view. But if you haven't done that, then what I do is add a layer and then use the technical pen in a bright red ink and draw lines parallel to some of the existing angles in the 2D view. And of course, where these lines cross will be my vanishing point. It's not critical that the lines are exact, but uh, you want to be as close as possible without wasting too much time. You can get by with just two lines, but sometimes I'll add a third, and that marks the left-hand vanishing point I'll be using. Once you've located the vanishing point on your drawing, you want to go into the Actions menu, tap Canvas, pull up the Drawing Guide, tap Edit Drawing Guide, and then select which kind of drawing assist you want, in this case the perspective. Then locate the first vanishing point, and tap Done, and you're set to go. Here's the same process for locating the right hand vanishing point. I'll just speed this up. Very often the vanishing point will be beyond the border of the drawing. And you'll have to just tap and then adjust that point until it seems to align with all of the lines you created. It sometimes helps to change the thickness and opacity of the drawing guide. Here I've got another interesting challenge. I've accidentally created a third vanishing point. So when I go back to the guide, I can see that the third vanishing point is at the bottom. I just tap it and hit delete and I'm done. And again, to make sure your lines are lined up, you can use that slider to create a blacker line, a thicker line, more opaque line, and that makes your uh, visual check of the adjustment and the alignment much easier. So once I've established where the vanishing points are, I'll create a new layer. I'll give it uh, the title of drawing or something. Tap the layer to activate Drawing Assist. And then I'll start drawing. Pick whatever pen is appropriate, and you'll see that all the lines are locked in with the perspective as you set it up. I go back and forth between the technical pen and the square or rectangular brush, which is kind of a more casual marker type approach to these drawings. That's a matter of personal preference. At this point, all that matters is that we are drawing quickly and loosely to keep that concept design feeling to the sketch. In the next segment, I want to show you how you can even use Perspective Guide to import a plan and stretch it out to your layout to help locate some of the furniture. But until then, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos like this.